So the first one is what impact will Kenny Payne have on the community? Kenny Payne just got hired um, last week, basically, um, new basketball coach for the University of Louisville. He's the first African-American coach ever in the program. Um, wow. Former player, um, played, got a championship with the Louisville Cardinals, also went ahead and played pro ball, been an assistant coach for, for many years. Um, basically, they just got him from the Knicks. Uh, he went, decided he wanted to come back home and kind of clean up this mess that's been going on. Um, he definitely uh, he did a whole speech without any cards, with anything like that. It went off his heart, off his brain. He had a ton of uh, players, former players. I mean, it was suited and booted. They was all there. You know, he kept on acknowledging them and had them stand up saying, I can't do it by myself. Um, I'm going to need help. Stand up, my brothers. You know, everybody stand up. He said, I need the community. Do not, you know, this don't be a bandwagon fan when we when we winning. But, you know, it's going to take some time. And basically, you know, when I'm down, still be there to pick me up type stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, great hire. I mean, personally, I, I think, you know, after all this riff rafter was going on and, um, you know, not saying that automatically things would change over. Everything would be rosy with uh, 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 Kenny Payne. But I know that you cannot continue to say, oh, he's never had a coaching experience and stuff like that. He's been coaching. He's never been a head coach. But his track record as a uh, um, as a recruiter, as an assistant coach, a top dog, uh, developing players is impeccable. Uh, these, these, these kids, I call them kids because they really are, um, the, didn't see much growth uh, under Chris Mack. Uh, a lot of people uh, look like they was uh, taking two steps backwards. Um, uh, the hustle wasn't there. The, you know, all the, 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 yes, we know, we understand. They straight ballers. They know that. But when you don't, when you feel like your coach don't give a damn about the situation, one thing I would say was stood out to me. Well, when uh, uh, they said that the young center, you know, um, in the locker room and stuff like. The locker room was kept a mess, you know, that, that wasn't cleaning it up, like taking pride in being in some something that other great players have, you know, uh, shed their, you know, tears and sweat for, you know, to be able to get a young center instead of Freedom Hall. Uh, so I think that pride would be back, and I think the community is going to open it up. And you're always going to have some people who, who hating, doesn't like the situation, want another guy, that kind of stuff. But from um, uh, from the uh, Afro American point of view, or this period, um, what do you guys think? Uh, what kind of impact would Kenny Payne have on the community that's been starving? It's been like the third straight year without NCAA. Uh, you know, it's many times that you know you, uh, you my sisters. You know, y'all been born and raised in sports. You, you know, watching Louisville basketball and all this kind of stuff like that. It comes to the time now that people's like, man, Louisville's on. Like, oh, okay, whatever. So what kind of impact, and you can hit a community, any any kind of way you want to do from, you know, Afro-American, former player, whatever, um, the floor is yours, whoever wants to step up to the mic. I, I can go ahead and go. Um, for me, I, I'm really, really excited. I'm not going to lie. In these past few years, I haven't really been – and in, in, in really active, actively looking at it, I've been enthused about it. Uh, but seeing him, that smile, the authenticity, just just looking like he's glad to be here, you know. And then people welcoming him, that was enough for me. I mean, I'm willing. I want to see the games. I want to see how it progress. I want to see how it goes. I think he's just he's great for the community. I think he's great for the community as a whole, black, yeah. white, and different. I just think that. He's given off a real positive vibe, which is something that we've been lacking for a while. So I'm excited. I'm excited that he's uh, back. And it, it's the energy for me. I mean, it's just the adrenaline rush of just something new and exciting. And as Shannon said, you know, it's like I had seen some games, but I was less involved, <clears throat> less involved in terms of watching the games, basically because I got tired of seeing him lose. And then you get on social media and they're they going to update you with the score. So it's just loss of interest. So I think with Kenny Payne coming back, 
to the community is just excitement. Like I said, it's the energy. It's the energy and everyone's ready. And that energy alone just motivates you. So it's just pure excitement for everyone. Like I Shannon, like Shannon said, it's it's everyone, not just you know, one one culture, one one race, it's everyone. Everyone's excited. So very mm -hmm. excited to see it. Oh yeah. What's uh hey, what's going on, Mark? How you doing? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? Are you on your uh tablet or something? Yeah, yeah, because it's the feed. I guess it's, it's getting that feed. Can you say something now? Yo. Okay. All right. We we basically talking about Kenny Payne, his impact on his community. Um, you got anything to add to that, Mark? About Kenny Payne coming back? Mr. Kenny Payne back in Louisville. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. Great thing. Get some of these. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I remember you and Bump talking about how. Rick that used to let former players come back. So I think it's going to be a beautiful thing that Kenny Payne said, let former players come back, talk to the kids, get the kids involved. You know what I'm saying? Motivate the kids and get more kids here to come to law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Let me see. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to get that feed because it's like it's, I don't know what it is going on, but that feed. Let's see, I'm trying to. See what I can do on here trying to help that out big time. Uh, How's everybody doing? There we go. Good, good. There we go. There it goes. All right. So um uh this to uh, wrap this up in the bow. Um also, one thing I, I, I love what Kenny did was, uh, you know, of course, you know, he had his son up there talking and, 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 and you know, of course, his family and, uh, you know, basically saying that, hey, you know, my hard work pays off. I never vision myself basically being here at this university coaching, uh, you know, many nights and, you know, long nights and things like that, working, working for the other coaches and doing things and taking care of business integrity, raising these kids, taking these kids that I recruit, raise them basically as my own, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people love them, things like that. But also um, entrusting another coach to go ahead and, and take him, you know. Um, you know, he's a, a walk-on at University of Kentucky. I mean, he might join, he may not, but ain't no pressure. But, you know, um, that's just a lesson for everybody out there, you know. Um, you just never know. This guy is well liked by a lot of people in that profession, and people was cheering him on to get the job. Uh, you know, even Nike's, you know, CEO who he's who who Kenny calls himself like his family, you know, and everything. Th everybody thought that was going to be a hold up just because you know Louisville University of Louisville is Adidas. So uh, you know, he's like, oh no, that's my family, and I. I had a shoe contract with Adidas coming out when I when he was a baller. So uh, hats off to him. Hats off to University of Louisville. My thing is this. Nothing is a sure thing, period. And for people who says, hey, man, you know, why you get him and did it? He ain't got no experience or whatever. Chris Mack had experience, had a, had a number one seed and all this kind of stuff. And look what the mess he left back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear that. Hey, congratulations, University of Louisville. Congratulations, Kenny Payne, and this community can go ahead and and, and embrace hopefully University of Louisville again and go. I mean, it was games they only had like five thousand people in that gorgeous NBA arena. Right. Ridiculous. All right. So uh 